So today in Cloud Gaming News, Stadia is expanding, guys, and this is massive news, and I have a lot to say about this. GeForce Now also announced July titles and a big update to the NVIDIA Shield TV. Amazon Luna is seeing a lot more games, and Boosteroid is set to receive a massive 4K 120fps update in the future. Also, the Samsung Gaming Hub has launched, and it features quite a few cloud services on there. And guys, we have lots to get into. Let's just jump straight into the news with what I think is one of the biggest announcements for Stadia this year in expansion expansion to Mexico. Keep in mind, this is important for all of you as well, and I'm going to explain why in a second, even if you're not in Mexico yourself. Now, this is almost two years since Stadia has actually expanded into a new region, and there's just a lot to talk about here and, uh, and digest with all this. First off, the obvious elephant in the room, expansion like this should hopefully tell you Stadia is a very much investing into the platform. Expanding like this means servers have to be invested to get Stadia running at peak performance in these regions, and of course, including Mexico itself. So for those who think that Stadia has been calling it quits, well, here you go. That's certainly not happening. Two, expansion is what is, I think, one of the best ways, if not the almost the very best way for Stadia to grow outside of just pure game library upgrades. And I'd argue that it's the most significant way to grow at this very moment because you're now hitting these markets that can't afford to play the latest and greatest games via gaming PC and console. Now, I can speak firsthand on this because this this is a country I've spent a year of my life within the last 15 years. This is a country that's starved with millions and millions of gamers who are usually two generations behind on their gaming because the hardware is just beyond overpriced. We're talking not even close to MSRP. So let's say, for example, an Xbox Series X in Mexico is more than likely going to be marked up almost double. This is already in a country that isn't exactly a rich country. So being able to cloud game like this and having the option of like a Stadia bringing current generation of gaming without the insane investment that it usually takes is something very huge. And I want you to think about a game like FIFA 22, a game that is going to easily sell very well in Mexico and on Stadia. And of course, the FIFA 22 current version is the next gen version and hitting a market like Mexico. I mean, we're talking an absolute moneymaker for Stadia and Google. Again, I'm just speaking to you on this with firsthand knowledge, how starved the gamers are out there. And especially in other markets, not just Mexico, but Latin America markets and a lot of these other ones that are just all over the world. So why should someone like you who's had Stadia for a while even care about expansion? Because expanding into new markets like this equals more users buying and using Stadia, which then Google and Stadia themselves can signal to developers and publishers that more numbers and more people are gaming on the platform. So this is something you want to root for. And I mean, in general, expansion itself of Stadia is something you want to root for. Now with that, this isn't all complete roses. Google, in my opinion, needs to heavily market Stadia in Mexico, as I suspect people there aren't really going to know exactly what cloud gaming is and even in Stadia itself. But in general, we need to see a lot more markets being expanded to going forward, guys. I really love to see India, Brazil, and there's just so many more as there's been evidence that expansion for Xbox cloud gaming has really driven up their numbers, especially in the cloud aspect of it. But guess what, guys? Stadia runs way, way better than Xbox Cloud Gaming, and I really feel that it can make a significant mark. So I have a lot, a lot more to say on this subject. Believe me, stay tuned because I'll go ahead and talk about it in an upcoming podcast. But I really feel this is just amazing news all around, and nobody's happier about this announcement than I am. All right, with that, I'm going to jump into the rest of the Cloud Gaming news, guys. And I've been a big fan so far of Boosteroid. As I've said before, this will be covered prominently going forward. I was really waiting on that US release, which is here now. They announced 4K 120 FPS is on the books for them to come this year. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say the time frame, but it's not too far from now. The team there has honestly been doing some amazing things. They are based out of Ukraine. As you guys know what's going on over there, things have been a bit slower than I think they would like, but they are absolutely hard at work from everything that I'm gathering and me talking to them personally. They also recently announced 15 new games to the service. We have some big ones here. We have Fall Guys, which as you guys know is free on on Epic, Shredder's Revenge, which has taken the world by storm since its launch, and then Monster Hunter Rise, and a lot more titles that were also 
uh, recently released. I think they've been killing it. I've enjoyed using Boosteroid myself. Trust me, we got some content on the channel headed our way from the service. I'm just kind of taking my time with it and I've kind of been dealing with some health issues, but I've been really enjoying it so far. Stay tuned for that content. If you guys want to sign up and check out what Boosteroid is about, check out my link in the description. Signing up with my link certainly help keeps the lights on here on this uh, on this channel. All right, let's jump to GeForce now. They've had some big news as well. The Nvidia Shield sees a massive upgrade, sees the, a new game mode that should really make the experience and quality of your cloud gaming much better and reduce latency even further. They say it works for GeForce now and it works with other gaming apps as well but either way guys super awesome i was granted the ability to test this but sadly i just didn't have the time but reports so far are they're having a smoother experience in general which is great the update also comes to the original 2015 models now so the nvidia shield tv guys has always been really a top device out there for cloud gaming via plugged your tv the ai upscaling i think has worked wonderful and it's one of the biggest things that i like about it but now this game mode really does take it up even another level so for me this continues to be one of those very premium luxury cloud gaming devices out there something you don't technically need but if you're hardcore then i would say don't hesitate and pick one up now with that we're going to take a quick look at the games coming this july we have six games already launched this week one here in disgaea 6 complete this is certainly a, no a notable game and then we have the more upcoming games later in july we have Match Point Tennis, a game that I've been watching out for. All accounts, this is looking like a really fun title if you're into, into tennis, and it has some uh, some really cool career mode, some really cool stuff. And then in general, there's quite a few more games here that are coming out for this month. GeForce now continuing to just be Mr. Consistent alongside with Xbox and all the game releases this year, so it's been really cool to see. All right, guys, let's jump to Amazon Luna, who's also doing some amazing stuff as well. They have Hot Wheels Unleashed coming to Luna Plus soon. Been wanting to dive into that title. It looks great. They also announced some retro games that really got my attention. Earthworm Jim and Earthworm Jim 2. I actually played those games as a kid. They were some of my favorites, so this absolutely caught my eye. And then Worms Crazy Golf heads to the family channel. Great stuff on these games. Certainly brings some exclusive value to the service from any other cloud service. Also, the Resident Evil games were, I think, announced. I think these are already on the service. We have Resident Evil 2 and 3. Then we have Samurai Warriors 5, Mega Man a Legacy Collection, and Riptide GP. I have to say the retro channel for Luna is honestly looking more and more sexy and something that I didn't care about until now as they just continue to add more games. And, and they're finally getting to the point where it's just... It's just got some really good value and again, has my attention. So Amazon Luna, good stuff. Finally, in today's video, we have the collection of services that are now on the Samsung Gaming Hub that is supposed to bring optimized game streaming to their smart TV. So you can use things like Stadia, Luna, GeForce Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and even some others. Now, some of the TVs that will be optimized with the Gaming Hub is the 2022 Neo QLED AK. We have the Neo QLED 4K, QLEDs in general, and then the 2022 Smart Monitor Series. So again, you don't need to hook up some form of streaming stick or Android device. You can literally just play off your gaming hub on the Samsung TVs and just bring your gaming controller to the party. I know I saw someone report that they did some testing. They said it felt snappier than using the Chromecast TV when playing Stadia. I mean, who knows if that's true, but at least it appears that this bad boy is running really well. Now, if someone at Samsung or any of these cloud services want to gift me a TV so I can cover this on the channel, I'd appreciate it. My wife broke one of my TVs recently and Lord knows I'd love to test this all out but I mean this is great news to see more and more TV manufacturers opening up access with their own uh, televisions and it only makes sense because then you turn your TV into this like one-stop shop for entertainment and then launching cloud gaming off your own TV hardware is certainly in my opinion a next level technology so guys amazing amazing stuff if you guys are interested in more recent cloud gaming news make sure you hit that video on the top left